Welcome to a small flash tutorial. I'll be teaching you motion tweening and frame by frame today. First of all, start off by creating a small ball or circle, whatever you like to call it. At the top is the timeline. Now, the timeline is an area where time passes on, and each of the small squares in the timeline represent a still image. At the moment, we only have one, so that's our ball, we've selected the ball, we need to choose to drag out our timeline to say the 20th, we right click, insert frame. This moves our image to hold for 20 frames, not just one. Then to make it move, we right click on the frame we've got there. First of all, if you press enter, it plays it what you've got so far. Right click, create motion tween. That will mean we've got a motion tween in there, but at the moment we haven't got a desired point to go to. We've just got the first point at the beginning. See, I can select the first point, but there's nothing at the end point. So we insert keyframe at the end, which will mean the image will go between one area and wherever we want it to go in that space of time. So at the end, in the second point, we'll drag it to where we want it to go. This means between the first point and the second point, it will move along the screen, like that. We can change the frame by frame the yeah, frame by frame, sorry, we can change the FPS to 24. This means it will move twice as fast because there's more frames in that second than previously we had. We can insert frames to make it longer. This can also be done by pressing F5. You can also highlight a lot of frames, insert frame and as you can see it makes the overall animation longer. We're going to put a new layer onto the timeline. If you use Photoshop you should be slightly familiar to this. We'll name this line. I'll teach you how to do frame by frame now. Now we right click, insert blank keyframe. So now we've got two frames, two stills, and they're both blank. This allows us to enter an image into the first and then an image into the second. That will flash the images fast and if it's the same image it will look as if it's moving. This is a more manual way of doing it, but it also means you can manipulate the image eat more easily as it goes throughout the animation. We're going to enter a few different frames in here. You can also enter frames by pressing F6. If you highlight and press F6, that also works, but it doesn't work the same if you highlight and enter blank keyframe, it only does the one at the end. So F6 is the most efficient way of doing this here. Now we've got a few of these blank keyframes, we can mess around by drawing images in them. If you press this image, this button here, the onion skin, it shows you the previous and the future images faintly, so you can draw on top of them. It shows us where the ball was last, so we can continue the ball moving along. It'll take a little bit longer to do this, as you can see, but as you learn Flash, you'll get more adapt, you'll adapt to it, and it'll get easier for you. Now it should portray the image of the ball moving, the line moving along. That's not brilliant quality at the moment. It's only a short bit because we've got quite a high frame rate. But now we'll just try it. We'll put two balls there to make it look as if it's splitting off into two. You just continue the image as if you think it would work, as if you want to see it. Keep drawing the circles just after the last frame. And as you can see now, it looks like two balls have split off. So it'll play these images quickly, and it will look as if, see, yep, the two balls have split off. You can go to Control and Test Movie. This plays it in a small window as if the audience would see it. Thank you for watching my animation, and I hope it helps. This was just a few basic ideas.